tour dixième nord de Paris. It's um, a small room, as you can see, but it's uh, bigger than the normal rooms in the neighborhood. The, um, the bed was okay. The bed yesterday in Compiègne was better, but it's an okay bed. The only problem is if you're with two and someone moves, the other one uh, feels it already. Yeah. Uh, we only have one light here and it's a very dark room. And the only problem at night is if you want to sleep here, as you may have seen, that there is a light outside which um, shines very bright right into our room. We have this curtain which blocks light, but there is always light coming from the side, of course. Uh, there are two night lamps, but they are very bright. It's not that they are like comfy night light if you want to have like one reading light for someone who's reading and you want to sleep. It's not possible with these lights, but you can change them from high to low for some reason. But yeah, you never use it. There's a television um, and the bed is also a um, box spring. But as you can see, it's not the cleanest box spring anymore with some moles, mold. Oh. Um, but the topper is OK. There are two nightstands. Um, one, they both have an electric point to charge your phone, and one has a, a switch for the lights. Again, uh, there is some thermostat, but yeah, there is no use of it. There is some clothes hanger where there is also a luggage room downstairs, and you can put some luggage on top. Uh, and there is also an extra cushion. Uh, my girlfriend said she. Didn't like the cushion because it was too high. And yesterday we had another cushion which she did like. So it means these are the best cushions. Um, then we have a big mirror to see ourselves with a light on top. But you can't do your makeup here because my girlfriend said so and I don't do my makeup. Uh, there's a door and there's like an extra door here. There's a small bench to put your shoes on and off. And then you have this door, but it's a double door because it can close this off and it can close the bathroom off. So in the bathroom, we have a big problem because as you may see on the side, there is like, if you shower, there all, all the water from the shower is coming over to in your bathroom and your small towel where you need to stand up to dry your feet will be very, very wet when you get out, which is annoying. Here we only have two big towels and a big mirror with lights in it. So you can do your makeup here. It's good that the windows have like blindings so you don't have to wash for it. There's also some mold downstairs and the shower which isn't nice. And the shower itself isn't like the biggest one. It's a small one as you can see. But it's okay, you can shower here. The point for putting your shower on it's very low, which is weird, in my opinion. And the toilet is like next to the wall. So if you're really big, you can't like fit in this toilet. And there's only one trash bin, which is here. The hairdryer, my girlfriend used, so we'll ask her how that was. How was the hair hairdryer? It was okay. It was a hairdryer, so it dried your hair, but it's an old one, so uh, not that really handy to use. It's a small room. We are now going down to the um, lockers for our luggage. So we will check out uh, if that's okay. Ja. Wacht hè. Ja, okay. Is dat klein? Zodat hij een kleine raken. Maar iets klein, dat is dit. Hè. Want het is nog iets kleiner dan dat. Hè. Dat is wel één. Ja, dat past toch in één. Petit. Choose language. Uh, 
Ah nee. Oh, da passt es doch mein Gemack hin. We had this room for 117 euros, uh, which isn't a lot for the neighborhood, with breakfast. Because normally you pay, like if it was without breakfast, it was 102. Uh, but breakfast in Paris, we're not Emily in Paris, so we don't do that. Uh, so breakfast in Paris isn't always the easiest one to find a good one. Yeah, but the normal hotels around this area, because we're very close to this uh, north station, are like 130 for the cheapest, and then you have like a room where you don't have place to move. And here we have some, yeah, we you can't call it dance floor. Yesterday maybe we could call it a dance floor, but today it's definitely not a dance floor. Uh, I mean, yesterday is the hotel of yesterday. I will put it at the end of the video. Um, but here it's smaller but yeah it's paris oh and the other thing we forgot to mention now it's really quiet which is really weird but then when you go to, to your bed and you want to sleep it's like loud there's a lot of noises there are people talking outside traffic it comes out of nowhere because i thought it was the biggest thing like the, the biggest traffic would be in the day but it's totally not you hear a lot of noises, but yeah, it's very so I don't know if you can find a hotel where you don't have traffic. For the hotel room itself, we would give it, she would give it three, I would give it three and a half, because it was a good night, but I mean, it's not the best. But yeah, for 117 euros with breakfast, it's fine. Um, and for the breakfast, I would give it three and a half, four stars out of five because it was good and you thought it was a lot but then it's really strangely arranged but i will show you some footage of the breakfast now Thank you. 